Hey everyone, if you've been watching my husband Dan's videos lately, you've seen us fossil hunting in Central Florida and uh, we've been having such a good time that we decided our sifter wasn't big enough. Uh, so we are going to show you today how to make a bigger one. We've got everything that you need here. It doesn't take a lot. It's real simple. Regular screen, quarter inch whole screen. Catches just about everything. You don't get uh, you don't get a lot of loss if you've got small shark's teeth. Most of them will get caught in there. Uh, pool floaties. We've pre-cut the wood and uh, tape measure, clamps. We chose three inch wood screws. They'll hold on to it pretty well. Make it pretty sturdy. Uh, zip ties to hold the floaties on. Staple gun and a drill. And our mascot cat is here with us too, Mr. Meowgi. So he's going to help. There you have it. I've already pre cut two pieces to 23 and 3 quarter inches, and the other two pieces to 20 and 3 quarter inches. This particular frame we've made measures 23 and 3 quarters inches each outside dimension, but you can make yours any size. We put some clamps on it just to hold the, uh, the pieces of wood together while we try to drill some starter holes. So now after just eight three inch screws, we've got a completed frame. We recommend putting two screws in each joint. It should hold it quite well. You can mark them if you want with a marker before you drill. You can clamp them together. You can use a vise if you've got one of those. Just uh, be safe. We put our shoes on halfway through. <laughs> Just trying to uh, get a good visual for you guys. Next, we're gonna put the screen on. Now it's time to cut the wire mesh to size. You can use any tin snips or wire cutters that you have. The easiest way to do it is just to hold it against your frame and see where the best place to cut it is. We're cutting right to the edge of the frame. This is all gonna be covered with the pool noodles, so you don't really have to worry about sharp edges either. Next, we're going to secure the corners with these cable staples. is attach the pool noodles so you've got flotation. So take your pool noodle and lay it just to the inside edge of the wood and that's where you're going to cut it. They're really easy to cut with a serrated knife. After you've gotten them cut to length, you want to take them and cut lengthwise halfway through so that you'll be able to open them. The tricky part is getting them wrapped around the wood, but it's, it's not that hard. You just have to kind of work your way down the wood. Start from one end. 
second side, and we're using a different color just to show you, we want to cut it all the way to the edge of the wood. That way, it covers any unfinished nails. step is to zip tie the pool noodles around the wood. You can use short zip ties and put two together if you want, end to end. Or what we like to do is use the long ones so you only have to use one. Once you have your pool noodles attached, snug up the zip ties and cut off the extra ends on them. Then you'll be ready to go. Happy fossil hunting!